Corruption comes ashore to Maui. Welcome to Maui Real News. I'm your host, Brother Chris. At Maui Real News, we are dedicated to keeping it real and giving it to you straight. It may be pilau, it may stink, but we want to get the stink out. Clean house. Bring it out into the air where we can breathe clean again. Our county officials are seen as leaders. They need to represent what is good and true, what is our best, and what is pono, especially to the youth. Corruption in government? No way. No can, no like, no need. We cannot be like the three monkeys. We created Maui Real News to empower residents to know what's going on. As the character Morpheus in the movie The Matrix said, you take the blue pill, the story ends. You wake up in your bed and you believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and we show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. If you're still watching, welcome to Wonderland. In this episode, we invite you to take a red pill and look at Mayor Victorino and his administration. But first, a disclaimer. In Hawaii, it is not legal to eavesdrop and secretly record a conversation you are not participating in. However, anyone participating in a conversation can legally record that conversation, even if the others don't know the recording is being made. We're going to play for you some audio clips from conversations with Mayor Victorino that were legally recorded by participants in those conversations. On September 16th, Mayor Victorino released this statement about the federal corruption charges against a former county official. I strongly condemn public corruption in all forms. Whenever corruption undermines the public trust, those responsible must be investigated, prosecuted, and punished to the fullest extent of the law. I cannot and will not tolerate such betrayals of the public trust. Now, here's a clip recorded by Sam Small, the director of Maui Causes, of a conversation with Mike Victorino two weeks before he was sworn in as mayor. I've always prided myself, Sam. Know more about you than you know about me. Hmm? I know that one. I know a lot about his life. Okay? I know David Good. Probably 30 years. I know the shit he's pulled. Okay? A lot of it was borderline illegal, borderline, okay? I just use that word. Sometimes it may cross one way or the other, but it's borderline. But they know I know. I have no problem in saying, hey, David, hey, Pat, goodbye. Yeah, because I don't need you. Just weeks later, Mayor Victorino nominated both David Good to be his director of public works and Patrick Wong to be his corporation counsel, that is the director of the Department of County Government Attorneys. I didn't know about this audio, but I did know that Mr. Good was not good. At the time of his nomination, Good's alleged unlawful manipulation of the 2015 upcountry water bill had just come to light. When they voted to approve the bill, council members stated that they believed that they were approving infrastructure improvement exemptions as a courtesy for upcountry water residents or upcountry residents who had been waiting for water meters for over 16 years. In fact, Mr. Good and government attorneys changed the bill to include exempting commercial developers and large landowners like A and B island-wide. So you, the taxpayer, would pay for their infrastructure obligations. More on that in another, in another episode. The mayor was made aware of this, but obviously didn't care. It took county residents working closely with progressive council members to successfully defeat Mr. Good's nomination. On to the Department of Government Attorneys, led by the corporation council, Patrick Wong. In this next clip, the mayor-elect is speaking with Sam Small and Christopher Salem, who he is hiring to fix legislative loopholes which many past administrations use to enrich developers at the taxpayer's expense. Mr. Salem has both the professional building expertise and public government experience, as well as decades of valuable work product to bring to the mayor's administration. In this clip, Chris, Mr. Salem, who will later become the whistleblower within the Victorino's administration, asks the mayor why we are not holding administration 
directors and county officials responsible and accountable when it is clearly established that they violated the county charter. I think the council's always been afraid to start that Pandora's box. Once you open one, everything else may come up. The mayor then goes on to acknowledge that because Corporation Council represents both the administration and the Maui County Council, they have a lot of power. They can pick and choose whom they defend from litigation. And as such, they can intimidate council members to advance whatever may be their own agenda. We were always told, too, that if you go against us, you're on your own. We you know the intimidation? Yeah, that, there you go. Thank you. And I think that, that that's always been a 800-pound gorilla in the room. Of course. Remember Joanne Johnson? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and that was one. I know that. And there's a couple others that. And not only you're on your own, if what you do costs the county money, you're on the hook for it. Until that is totally addressed and made, it is still that 800-pound gorilla in the room. Absolutely. Well... The mayor, to everyone's surprise, renominated that gorilla, Patrick Wong, to be his corporation counsel. And sadly, despite evidence of possible wrongdoing, the council approved his nomination. Later, if you recall, Mr. Wong was forced to resign after a domestic violence incident against his girlfriend, for which he was arrested and never charged. First tonight, Maui County's top civil lawyer has been placed on administrative leave after being charged with abuse of a household member. Police arrested Patrick Wong at 12.15 this morning at a residence in Wailuku. Wong, who is the county's corporation counsel, just finished a contentious reappointment process. About two weeks ago, the county council approved the mayor's pick by a 5-4 to four vote. But that is not the end of the story. And in another whistleblower episode... We will explain how Mr. Wong prevented the county from assessing and collecting upon millions of dollars owed by developers to the county. For now, we will reveal that the evidence suggests that Pat Wong prevented the Sand Hills lots at Palama Drive from being turned into federal tax credit affordable housing. A proposal worked on over a year with Mr. Wong's office, which would have settled a case by the developer against the county, and a proposal, it appears now, Pat conveniently concealed from the council. Instead, Mr. Wong advised the county to buy back the land from the developer at a cost of approximately $13 million. Yep, that's your tax dollars, hard at work. Why would he do that? At that time, Mr. Salem and his associates, experts in affordable housing, had spent over $75,000 to develop a plan, a proposal, and got the approval of the developer to do it. Their plan pioneered using federal tax credits to provide affordable housing, just like what is being done finally now, more than a decade later, thanks to council member Kelly King. But this could have started way back then. What we know is that Mr. Wong declared in his financial disclosures that he earned between $250,000 and $500,000 two years in a row in Vegas. And what we also know is that Mr. Wong, when asked during his nomination proceeding for his tax records, said, well, he couldn't find those records. Uh, I don't know where that paperwork is at. And yet, not one council member told him to go get them from the IRS. Getting the picture? And that same council approved his nomination. Well, newsflash. Mr. Salem, who has filed a suit against the mayor and his planning director, Michelle McLean, for retaliating against him, for blowing the whistle on the Greg Brown development violations and other alleged fraud, including Pat Wong and the affordable housing proposal for Paloma Drive, is now subpoenaing those tax records from Patrick Wong. We elect mayors and council members, and yet it always seems to be dedicated county residents who blow the whistle. It is residents who have to follow through while being beaten up financially, psychologically, and professionally by, guess who? None other than our county government attorneys of the Department of the Corporation Council, who routinely defend the unlawful actions of county officials under the color of law, saying it is their job to defend the county. 
Not from unlawful action, stupid. Going back to 2000 with Christina Hemming and Montana Beach. And then there was Pu'ukahana, Oluwalu, Palama Drive, and now Christopher Salem in 2022 addressing decades old corruption. If Mr. Wong and his associates are watching, these shows are pre-recorded. And if a U.S. attorney and the FBI are watching, it's all in government records, hiding in plain sight. You can contact us at MauiRealNews at gmail.com. Sam Small of Maui Causes questioned the mayor about the fraud that Christopher Salem has been trying to expose for decades regarding allegations of violations of county and state environmental law by developer Lot 48A LLC and their engineering firm consultant Unamori Engineering. These violations, which I have personally investigated as a paralegal going back to 2013, have in fact been covered up by the county and caused Mr. Salem to lose his property and his home, which he spent his life savings to build for his family. I say this because one of the most overused tactics of the Department of the Corpora Corporation Council is to make rude, abusive, and disparaging remarks about whistleblowers exposing them and the unlawful acts of the county officials whom they represent. To me, it really seems like the mob representing the mob. In his conversation with the then mayor-elect, Sam Small concluded by saying, How long can the county persist with that poisoned fruit laying a bedrock of destruction, the ongoing cover-up? It's deeper and deeper and deeper. Now, on a personal note, Mayor Victorino, you promised you would clean up decades-old corruption, which poisons the well of county government. But you haven't, and you didn't. As to Mr. Salem's claims, you said, We've worked long enough on this case and on all this to see there is a definite, I hate to use the word collusion, but there is. Because Milton, when I looked at what he did, really took advantage of the situation and helped his friends out. And Mr. Mayor, as you stated about Corporation Council when you were a mayor-elect, Right, wrong, and different. They, they defended the county. And instead of trying to, you know, really settling the issue, they continued to fight the issue. And now, yet almost two years later, as mayor and as their boss, you have continued to allow Corporation Council to fight the issues. I am not an attorney, Mr. Mayor, but I can tell you what is most obvious. County attorneys are not allowed to conceal unlawful acts, which they are fully aware of, by county officials, which includes themselves as county officials as well. So you said, if you see something, say something. And then one of your own loyal public servants did just that, and you fired him for it. And the collusion between the county, the developer, and the engineering firm, in that matter, you continue to conceal you said you won't tolerate those who betray the public trust. But Mr. Mayor, isn't that what you're doing? Haven't you betrayed the public trust? That is now for you, the viewer, the islander, the resident and the citizen of the county of Maui to decide for yourself. So, stand by, stand back, stand down. No, that's not right. That's not it. Stand up for honest government, Maui County. Until next time, we're keeping it real and giving it to you straight, just the way you like it. Ahui kaua, aloha mai e. If you like what we are doing in Maui Real News, please support us by sponsoring an episode or going to our crowdfunding page at MauiCauses.org. We can't do it alone. We need each other. For more information and details, please contact us at MauiRealNews at gmail.com. Until now, we have self-funded all our own production costs, and we wish to be able to continue to bring you the real news that you deserve. Keeping it real, giving it to you straight, just the way you like it. Malama Fong. I came back.